everyone, it's Kendra for Sassy and Crafty. Welcome. Today I'm sharing a card I made with the Sassy Girls OMG stamp set and the flower burst stencil using a trapped inking embossed resist technique. I'm going to start out with the background of the card first. I'm using a piece of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock that I cut in half and I'm applying this pixie spray to the back to hold the stencil in place. This is a low tack spray that's available for sale in the Sassy and Crafty online store. Now I held this cardstock over my trash can to spray the pixie spray and I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit before attaching it to the cardstock. I'm using these little neon ink cubes from Hero Arts. And to apply the ink, I like to use the domed foam applicators. I keep the little foams attached to the back of the ink packaging with some Velcro circles. So now I'm going to apply the stencil and um, I'm going to use the four different colors here. And I'm going to start with I the neon with a heavy hand in the and very work corner, my way around. And then I'm getting lighter with, with the it other as colors. I blend toward the middle. And by applying the blue next, it turns purple where the colors overlap. On the other side of the pink, I applied the orange, and then after applying the orange, I will add the green to the last corner. Before removing the stencil, I'm taking this embossing dauber and I'm applying it on top of the open parts of the stencil. This makes it easy to apply the sticky embossing ink, but if you don't have one of these, you could always use Versamark ink and a foam applicator. However you apply it, you just want to make sure that you apply the ink thoroughly and you have good even coverage over all the open parts of your stencil. Next, I'm adding some clear embossing powder on top, making sure to coat the entire surface that's sticky. And then the part that's in the middle, I have a little bit of excess powder and it is sticking a little bit because I did not use an anti-static powder bag before I started. So I'm just gonna wipe this away with my paintbrush. I let my heat tool heat up for at least 30 seconds before applying it to the cardstock in order to melt the embossing powder. Now this is my favorite part, watching the embossing powder melt. And I really like how this looks as it is now with that white background, but my plan was to have the neon flowers with a black background because I colored the flowers first and trapped them behind that embossing powder that's melted. It will resist the distress oxide ink that I'm applying right now. I use black soot to cover over all of the white areas. And now I'm taking my microfiber cloth and wiping away that black ink that was sitting on top of those embossed flowers. And because it's got a shiny surface, it wipes off really easily. You'll see now that the flowers, they're a little bit brighter than they were before now that I've wiped it. So now I'm going to trim down the background panel to fit on top of my A2 size card. And I want to make sure to keep the circle in the center. So I'm using my T ruler to measure two inches from the center on each side of that circle to mark where I'll, where I'll need to trim it off so that it measures four inches. Now, as for the other side, it measures five and a half inches right now. So I'm just gonna trim off an eighth of an inch on each end to keep that circle centered and for it to measure five and a quarter inches. Thank you. 
So here is an up close picture of the finished background. And now that that's done, let's move on to stamping. I'm using the Sassy Girls OMG stamp set. And I'm gonna use the stamp with the girl that has the shocked look on her face. I've taken a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I've placed it in my Misty stamping platform. Now, since I haven't used this stamp before, I'm using my fingers to try to remove some of the stickiness from manufacturing. I have used the other Sassy Girl stamp in this set, the one that's blowing the kiss, but not this one. Here is a picture of the shaker card that I made with the other stamp a while back. I think it turned out really cute. Um, for this, I'm using some Gina K Amalgam ink to stamp the image because it's Copic marker friendly. And that's what I'll be using to color her. Now I stamped it several times to make sure that I have a good crisp image. And then for my sentiment, I decided to use the neon pink ink to stamp out the OMG sentiment. And because it's a pigment ink, it stays wet a little longer. So I can apply some embossing powder and heat emboss this to make it shiny. So after stamping this out a couple times, I wanted to make sure that it was really vibrant. I added some clear embossing powder on top and then I melted that with my heat tool. So after letting the embossing powder that I just melted cool off a little bit, now I'm gonna color the image. I started with the Copic marker color E55 to color the skin. And I did this along her hairline and along the edges. And then next I used E53 and I'm just kind of blending these two colors together working toward the middle. And then I tried using E51 as my lightest shade, but it was still a little too dark. And so I switched to E50, but I apologize for going a little bit off camera here. I normally don't zoom in while I'm coloring, but I thought it would be easier to see what I'm doing. But I forgot after I zoomed in how little bit of room that I had. So um, I don't show the entire coloring process for this, but I did want to share how I colored the skin for her because that tends to be when I first started coloring that was kind of my hardest um, technique to get down so you want to start off with the darkest shade and then go lighter as you work toward the center of the body so here is the image all colored the copic marker colors that i used for the rest of her are listed on the screen here and then next I fussy cut her out, leaving a little bit of a white edge around it so that it will stand out a bit from the background. And I also cut out the sentiment. Next, I created a mat for around the background. So I cut a piece of neon pink cardstock to be five and three eighths of an inch by four and an eighth of an inch. And I'm using another piece of 110 pound cardstock as my card base. I've cut it in half to measure five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter inches using my scoreboard and then folded it and placed the lined up edges in the corner of my scoreboard to then burnish the edge. And then I assembled the card using some art glitter glue. Now for the OMG, I didn't really like this sentiment in the center of the card just by itself. So I decided to punch out a two inch circle out of the neon pink cardstock with a circle punch. And then I die cut a slightly smaller stitched circle out of some holographic cardstock. I layered the circles and then I wanted to pop up that OMG sentiment. So I added some foam tape to the back and placed that on top. So to finish off the card, I'm using some sequins from a couple of different sparkle blends from Doodles Paper Playground, and these match the neon colors. I pulled out the neon pink and orange sequins from this blend called I Love the 80s, 
And then um, I couldn't find any green or the blue color that I was looking for. So I decided to look at the other blends that I had in my stash and found that the Gummy Bear blend worked really well. So here you'll just see me, I'm pulling out the, the pink, I'm sorry, the green and the blue from, from this particular one. And so now that I have those placed, I'm using my sparkle stick that I also got from Doodles Paper Playground to pick up the sequins so that I can glue them down using that same art glitter glue with the fine tip. This uh, sparkle stick is pretty handy. Now for the last finishing touches, I added some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew. It dries clear. I added that to her eyes, her lips, the bow, and on her nails. So I hope that you will subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. Here is the finished card. I think the trapped ink embossed resist technique is really cool and there's a lot of really cool ways you can use this with the many different stencils that the Sassy and Crafty store has to offer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this project inspires you to create some fun backgrounds using your Sassy and Crafty stencils and I will see you again next time. Have a great day.